So yesterday I waited two hours, no aeroplanes came by. None came across at all up here, up on the route. In fact, that, that bracket, that, that coax, that bracket, that's a proper external ADS-B antenna going to receiver inside. This antenna is going to try straighten it right up, shall we? This antenna is going to try and keep up with it. Uh, it won't manage it, but there should be traffic out through that bush there to the north towards Lady Smith. We might see, and there'll be the odd thing. I'm not sure when it is going across the top to uh, over Lesotho and down to Bloom, and then some stuff off that way going from Durban to Cape Town across that way, but about 70 miles away. This will be the, 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 the there's a chance at lunchtime there's one aircraft goes down uh, to Margate uh, and that comes across across the top of the end of the dam here about 15,000 feet and some of those have ADSB and some of them don't so there's that aeroplane yeah that's the world I live in I actually know the aeroplanes that are likely to go by anyway let's see what happens connected via 433 433 to my PC in the office next door. Okay, so this turns into a two-day experiment with the autopilot being in exactly the same place on both days. On day number A, uh, the aircraft going to Margate uh, was unusually very far to the west. I don't know if we had any weather near us or anything like that. And it was over Lesotho when it went down, and that's to the west uh, of the map over those purpley outline bits. That's the Drakensberg National Park. So I saw that between 7 and 10 miles. Uh, in between bits of my buildings, so the house shielded it uh, early on, and then the house shielded it again, uh, departing to the north. So uh, you can see on the right hand side, that's uh, my rooftop antenna, the view from that. Then the next day, just as I was packing it away, because the Margaret aircraft on the next day was one without ADSB, um, just as I thought, well, I'll put it away, this light aircraft popped up. Uh, I swapped around the screens for clarity and I put some range rings on my local um, local uh, ADSB setup. So you can see we started seeing the thing about 10 nautical miles away to the north uh, and then it swung down until uh, until again the building got in the way. Uh, it, it flew to the east of the house. So at one stage uh, or well, I stopped seeing it when um, uh, when the house was completely blocking it but of course the rooftop antenna kept seeing it so what does this mean and this this is similar for newer dji gear as well they have this adsb in so aircraft remember aircraft themselves cannot see the drone but we can see them if they're equipped so my ideal situation would be to have a local receiver with a better antenna on the ground or, as we have here, a chain of receivers. We have a chain of receivers between Durban and Johannesburg. That's 500 kilometers. And that chain of receivers uh, feeds, a, feeds a feed and a page that we can pull into Mission Planner or a page we can just look at. So you'd be looking at that. And just in case you missed out on something, you'd have in ADSB in and the carrier board of uh, your cube, which comes as standard now. This is standard. You'll pay no more for this. And I say it's in a lot of DJI gear. And then should this meet an aeroplane while you're not looking, uh, or um, it makes its mind up to do something, something comes from low level round a corner, you can ask it to avoid stuff. And that's just a parameter. So you, you can have it report, climb or descend, move horizontally, move perpendicularly in 3D, return to launch or hover. And then once the aircraft's gone by, based on the parameters you set, you can um, resume previous flight mode, RTL, uh, resume if auto, else loiter. And that's how, that's how I'm reading, obviously, sets how the vehicle will behave after the vehicle has cleared the conflict. And the first one, the avoid action, was controls how the vehicle should respond to a projected conflict. So it's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer that if manned aircraft started fitting electronic conspicuity, it is trivial for us to get out of the way. And it would be trivial for us to get out of the way if they changed the system and we needed a different sort of receiver. So my modus operandi for BV loss is to have an ADSB feed in a combined ADSB feed so I can, as an operator can see a long long way away um, 500 kilometers if I wanted 
and then something on board the aircraft as well so that can independently get out of the way if it needs to this is where it's ducking behind the house so um i can't quite read how far away it is but now the house is getting in the way thanks for watching we'll catch you again this is a very exciting thing